Hello, hello, bookish friends! Rebecca here, the Dragon Librarian from Farmington Community Library, and my friend Reen and I are here today to talk to you about a couple really fantastic spooky books that are fantastic to read this month. So we're in the middle of October, not quite the middle, but we're almost in the middle of October, and this is one of my favorite times of year because I just really love getting together a big stack of like spooky books, scary books, books that are thrillers um, and really fun because I just think it's such a fantastic time of year to read stuff like that. So today, and actually for the next couple weeks, I'm gonna be talking about some really great spooky books. Most of them are brand new, so they might be brand new to you, haven't heard of them before, might be something you wanna check out this season. And really, they're fun any time of year, so don't feel bad if you don't get to them right now or you're not in the mood for them right now. These kind of books, you can read them whenever, but they're particularly fun to read this time of year. So. The first one I want to talk to you about is called The Mary Shelley Club by Goldie Moldo Moldovsky. Um, I love this cover. It is just absolutely spooky and terrifying, don't you think? Um, and this has a lot of different elements to it that make it absolutely fantastic. So um, one of them is that it's kind of like a school thriller sort of story. If you like school, if you like stories that are set at schools, especially ones that are like really posh elite schools, um, that's where this takes place. So the main character, whose name is uh, Rachel, and she's starting off at this new prep school and she's very nervous about it. The reason she left her old school, we find out bits and pieces of it throughout the story, but something happened to her. She was attacked in her home. And the fallout from that means she is now attending a different school. So one of the things that she actually attached herself to after this attack was horror movies, scary movies. She is obsessed with them. It's her coping mechanism. Um, so she's obsessed with horror movies and she finds in the school that there is this really super top secret club called the Mary Shelley Club and these students actually perform all these like really great pranks um, on the other students that are based on like uh, cult classic horror stories and stuff like that. Um, like the you know for example like the hook right you've heard that story of the hook or the urban legend of the hook um, stuff like that. So she gets involved with this group and they start doing these pranks, which they call fear tests. And as they start to escalate and get more and more intense, um, she find, Rachel finds that her past is starting to sneak up back on her again. And she's going to have to confront what happened and how it ties to the present. This book was fantastic. I could not put it down. Yeah, it's a little bit thick. It's a little bit of a bigger book. Um, but that, but don't let that scare you away from it if you're if you don't normally read books this thick because it's really great. I couldn't put it down. Such a great thriller. Um, there were multiple twists <laughs> throughout this book and I didn't get any of them and they really threw me by surprise. I absolutely love them, especially the end, which I'm obviously not going to give away, but I sat there after I finished this book like this for about 15 minutes because I could not believe it. It was just, it was just absolutely wonderful. So the Mary Shelley Club, fantastic book this time of year or any time of year, but this book is great. So the next one I want to talk to you about is one I actually just finished last week and it's still sticking with me. I can't stop thinking about it. And it's called Vampires, Hearts, and Other Dead Things by Margie Fulton. Vampire, Fustin, I'm sorry. Vampires, Hearts, and Other Dead Things. So I first checked this out because of two reasons. One, I think that the title is hilarious. And two, I love vampires. I'm not ashamed to admit that. There's a vampire renaissance going on right now. So let your love of all vampire stuff just just fly free because it is cool to like vampires again. I even love them when they weren't cool. So whatever. It doesn't matter. So this book is really cool because on the surface it looks like a vampire story. But under the surface there's a lot more things going on with it that make it a really deep, fully nuanced, just amazing story. Um, so Victoria is the main character in this and her, uh, she's in high school and her father is dying of cancer. And the thing that they really bonded over for her whole life was vampire movies. They're both obsessed with vampires. They've seen every vampire movie. Um, they love this. And in this, in this world, it's kind of a little bit of an alternate universe because vampires are real or people think they could be real. There was a, um, in this, in this book's universe, there was a, a thing that happened where a couple people came out as vampires on TV. Um, 
and then they kind of faded into the background again and people were starting to think well maybe they weren't real maybe this was just some kind of hoax so victoria finds that she is holding out hope that her dad is going to still make it and the way she thinks this is going to happen is if she goes down to like the vampire mecca of the united states right which is new orleans um and she's going to try to track down a vampire and convince him to help her uh to turn her into a vampire so she can turn her dad into a vampire so she goes down there she finds somebody who she thinks is a vampire and what's really cool is because there's this whole thing throughout the book where you're trying to figure out is he really what he says he is? Is he really a vampire? Or is it just somebody that's messing with her? What is going on? Um, and there's a lot of twists in this also. I really loved it. And, and another thing that I think is just really fantastic about this story is it's not just about vampires. It's not just about, um, about that aspect of it. It's about grief. It's about coping with hard things. Uh, it's about, you know, sharing the things that you love with your family members and um it's just such a beautiful it's a really beautiful story i can't tell you too much about um where this book goes towards the middle and the end without giving it away but i highly highly recommend it it is a really thoughtful um but also really fun story like i said about grief also about vampires and just things that go bump in the night and it's really fantastic love the story so much and like i said it's got a great <laughs> it's got a great cover uh, title also right Vampires, Hearts, and Other Dead Things. So I hope those books sound really interesting and fun. If so, please feel free to check them out from Farmington Community Library. Um, leave a, a comment if you'd like, if you like them or didn't like them or what you thought of them. Um, also let me know some of the other spooky books that you really love and maybe we'll talk about them in the upcoming weeks. Thanks so much, friends, and have a wonderful rest of the day.